Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Zimmer Show. I'm Lisa Zimmer. Let's see who's going to join me today. Right, so I am with doTERRA. It is an essential oils and essential oils infused products company. We are the number one essential oil company in the world and the number one network marketing company, MLM, in the U.S. And we help people find natural options for hair care, skin care, body care, supplements, and for making over their bathroom cabinets naturally. So we can empower others directly in their home to handle things that are simple enough to handle. Aches and discomforts, digestive upset, respiratory health, all infused with essential oils, right? So what's the big deal about essential oils? Well, my hair didn't grow like this before essential oils, and my skin wasn't this clear before essential oils, and my attitude wasn't this good before essential oils. My gut health wasn't this good before essential oils, right? So I like to teach people about essential oils, and even more, I love to teach people about how to build their own doTERRA business and share essential oils with everyone simply and easily. It's not hard. We are very good in doTERRA at making things more complicated than they need to be, which is why I created Lisa Zimmer Essential Oils Biz Tips back in January of 2017. I got to Diamond and was like, this is too hard. Nobody wants to do this with me because the process is way too complicated. So I changed the process and created trifolds, fancy business cards, really, that you can hand off to strangers. You can print them at home with HP Insta Ink for six, seven, eight cents a piece, right? So my job here is to teach you how to build and share doTERRA and be profitable. I'm a very good business person and I like to help other people be very good business people because you can't do a good job with others and you can't get others to do what you want to do get others to do it with you, right? That's what we want. We want others to do this with us if we aren't profitable, right? If we aren't good at what we do. Well, it's not hard to be good at what we do. Are people having a bad connection here? Katie says she has a bad connection, so let me know. All right, so if you're watching this on replay on Facebook, be sure to comment. If you're watching this on YouTube, awesome. Please pop over to Facebook and join Lisa Zimmer Essential Oils Biz Tips because we have so much great information in the files tab and in the comments. RTC, my favorite new saying, RTC, read the comments. It's fascinating how many people um, don't read comments. There'll be a post like, how much is such and such? And then there'll be like 42 comments of the same answer 42 times, right? Because people don't read the comments. Read comments. You can teach yourself a lot by reading comments. I'll log in to say the Golden Platinum group and I just scroll for like 10 minutes a night and read comments and learn stuff, right? People post testimonials. That's how I learned so much about the oils, right? I don't use scientific articles. Scientific articles told me that the antibiotic I took couldn't hurt me and put me in a wheelchair with brain damage, right? So um, I don't read scientific articles. I use personal testimonials and experiences with my oils and others 
other people's personal testimonials, right, for oils. Yes, there's plenty of documentation out there for science, right? But what I want to teach people is how to use these oils any way possible. So one of the topics I want to cover is stop being so perfect, okay? Nobody wants to duplicate someone who's perfect and knows everything, all right? So what happens is when you teach doTERRA and you're so rigid in your teachings or so rigid in your knowledge or so rigid in your use of the oils, you turn people away, you turn your members away from product confidence. And that's what I build my business for, right? That's why we do trifolds and make and takes and monthly workshops. Go teach class every Thursday at 6 p.m. Teach a workshop with your whole team and encourage them to bring friends and become sharers and get free stuff and become a builder and replace their income, build a community, everybody have fun. You do that one Saturday a month, boom, done, right? Consistency, consistency, and simple. But what we don't do is I never, ever tell people they're doing it wrong. Whether it's an oil user or a builder. Because that's not your job, right? In doTERRA, as an advocate or a leader, your job is to help people want to use these products your job is to help build user confidence. By responding to a post about, oh, you're not doing it wrong, you should be doing it this way, you just ruined product confidence. I promise you, unless someone's sticking a oregano in their eye or on their butt, right, they can't do it wrong because the directions are on the bottle. Don't ingest this oil. It's not ingestible. They can't do it wrong. Stop telling people, whether it's users or builders, that they're doing it wrong. What you're going to end up with is a bunch of users with analysis paralysis, right? That happens to everyone when they first start. So if you start confusing people, oh, it needs to be this percentage of dilution or you're not doing it right, boom, you just ruined product confidence. By putting the fear in them that they might not do it right, right? So I put up some dropper bottles. This is my new gig. I'm pretty excited about it. So dropper bottles, right? I came back from Symphony of Cells. Amazing training, okay? Amazing training. Go to Symphony of Cells. So I was all excited, all pumped up. I said, my family, we're going to three times a week, we're going to do symphony of cells on each other. It's going to be awesome. I went to class on Thursday. A week later, I still hadn't done a single thing, not one symphony of cells. So guess what, right? Every time it was like, oh, I don't want to get up and uh, take the lids off 10 bottles, lay down on the floor, have Stop, come in and interrupt them and come put them on me and put them all back and because uh, we're busy. It doesn't matter what my excuse is. The result was I wasn't going to do it because it was more steps than we were willing to do right now. So my solution, I went the next day and I took every single Symphony of Cells protocol and I made up a roller bottle or a dropper bottle for them. And I put 15 drops of each oil in a dropper bottle and finished it with fractionated coconut oil. You wouldn't believe how many people decided that it was beneficial to come onto my business page and tell me I was doing it wrong. Even after my post clearly said the proper way to do Symphony of Cells, we're doing our best but this is how we're gonna do it for right now, all right? Don't tell people they're doing it wrong. What I learned in that post was I had lots of customers following and hearing Symphony of Cells because we've been teaching it in our private members group, 
right? I promise just because you don't layer oils versus a dropper bottle, that the oils are not magically going to stop working, all right? Telling people they're doing it wrong creates fear, not confidence. Stop telling people they're doing things wrong unless they're doing something that's going to hurt them like stick oregano in their eye, right? So say, awesome, that's so great. I do it this way and love it. That's so awesome that you do it that way, right? Build confidence and lift each other up. You don't have to be perfect to use essential oils, period, right? I guarantee you that Symphony of Cells works anyway. Because my dad, for his liver health, we use the Maxim protocol. My mom put the oils on the bottoms of his feet every night for six months. Liver health, success. He only had the oils on his back twice ever and got terrible rashes because he's so filled with toxins. Doesn't mean my mom can't have success with my dad for symphony of cells because they didn't do it the, the perfect way. Get the oils on the body, people. Other than diluting hot oils, there's pretty much no way to do essential oils wrong. Be creative, pay attention to your audience, right? And help them feel confident and remind them, don't worry, you can't do it wrong, it's fine. Right? Just make sure you dilute oregano, cassia, cinnamon, hot oils. And it says right in your doTERRA book, put a label on each bottle if you need a reminder. Builds confidence, right? I was reminded at workshop this weekend when a new member came, completely overwhelmed with, they bought a lot, right? That happens when people buy a lot and wasn't doing, you know, half of, wasn't doing the one thing that I said they needed to do, which was symphony of cells, because they were so overwhelmed. They were afraid they were going to do it wrong. I said, slap the oils on the back or the bottoms of the feet. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Right? She has to build product confidence and have her fear removed before she worries about doing it perfectly. You're still going to get benefits, right? I had members respond to me last night that they were so excited to see this answer and suggestion for symphony of cells because their significant other won't put the oils on their back for them. And they didn't want to sit and do lids off 10 bottles and whatnot. So they hadn't done anything, even though I suggested for their situation symphony of cells two months ago. Now they're doing it just in the last 24 hours and said, thank you for sharing that. Now I'm going to do it. There's a whole audience of people out there that deserve symphony of cells who can't reach their back, who don't have a spouse that will put the oils on them, right? Who don't have the dexterity in their hands anymore to sit and take 10 lids off of 10 bottles and put them back on, right? But they can take a moment and get some help with a dropper bottle and do that for the next month or two, simply and easily. Get the oils on the people. That's our role as business people. That's our number one role as business people. Get the oils on the people whether they have their account or don't have their account, right? Get the oils on the people. That's why we do make and takes. People are making, rolling, smelling, touching, feeling, getting oils on the people. Even if you do a non-make and take class with the trifold, right? If you do an education only or a non-make and take class, you're going to go down that, pick your favorite smelling oils, your favorite oils that they can put on their hands and smell, and you're going to get the oils on the people. We're not going to worry about perfect. We're going to get the oils on the people. That's number one. Number two, I want to help you find your words, right? This, this job as a wellness advocate is so simple. People are like, how do you have so many people turning into sharers every month, right? So I've got a brand new share who, uh, last month, a brand new share enrolled five people her first month. We have a brand new share on the team. She's getting ready to enroll her fourth or fifth person. 
right? People enroll people by using their mouth and building relationships and helping people they love. Trifold here, because I'm new and I don't know what to say. Trifold here, I'm not new. And if I don't use my trifold, I'm going to word vomit all over you because I love knowing all the things that I know about doTERRA. And I know that if I don't give you a trifold, I'm going to vomit everything I know about doTERRA all over you. So this is going to help me maintain control and help me shut up and open my ears and close my mouth. Right? Trifold, trifold, trifold. Right? It's going to explain doTERRA for you if you don't know how to explain it well. All right? So oils on the people, folks. Yay! Hey, Janet. So Janet says, my mother-in-law lives alone, and the dropper bottle would be perfect. Yes. Don't deny people the opportunity for symphony of cells, folks. My dad put the oils on his feet for liver health six months when he battled liver health for 10 years. Symphony of cells on the bottom of the feet, lifelong vitality pack, PB assist, terazine. Get the oils on the people. Stop worrying about being perfect. Not everyone's perfect. Someone just said on one of the mentor calls that everybody's talking about that one of the teachings was that you put oils on the bottom of the feet because the pores are extra big. Not true, right? Even top leaders, don't know everything and aren't perfect, right? Go Google why we put oils on the bottoms of the feet and learn where you find this information, right? It's best not to regurgitate things that you necessarily hear from other people unless it's testimonial, right? If it's something that's factual and researchable, please research it first. So you can go to doTERRA.com and type in like feet or pores or something like that. And the blog article from Dr. Hill comes up about why you put oils on the bottoms of the feet. I put oils on the bottoms of the feet because the skin is tougher. My family, we have a lot of skin reactions. My dad's filled with toxins from 10 years of being um, filled with toxins and a poor diet. So he can only put essential oils on the bottoms of the feet. But guess what? They work. Would it be better when he has something going on to put oils here or here or here or here? Sure. But they still work when he puts them on the bottoms of his feet, right? So it's not about being perfect. It's about helping your users feel confident in how they use them. So the reason I know this is, one, I enrolled 400 people myself in the first two years, personal enrollments, and did in-person one-on-ones with almost all of them. And what I saw was a lack of understanding of our products and a lack of product confidence. So I wrote, actually in my first couple months I wrote it and it's been edited a hundred times. I wrote the favorite recipes and I have my oils now what? I took the most commonly asked questions from 400 one-on-ones and I put them in a single piece of paper, double-sided. What do I do for head and neck tension? What do I do for aches and discomforts? What do I do for energy and focus, digestive health, skin irritations, immunity, muscle and joint support, happy ears, sleep and calming? Think about those most commonly asked questions that you get asked from new people. Right? Think about those most commonly asked questions about new people. They just want to know the basics and get the problem solved. Okay? You have to spell it out for them. And that's when I came up with the 2020-20. Right? So what I was getting was, oh, I see that peppermint and lavender and frankincense are great for head and neck tension. How many drops? I'd get texted a hundred times a day. How many drops for this? How many drops for that? How many drops for that? And I said, you know what? There needs to be a simple system that's going to work no matter what they do and remove that insecurity and fear and remove that question. Because if I got asked that question one more time, I was going to shoot myself. 
So my answer became, and my recipe became 20 drops. 20 drops of each or 20 drops total? Yep, sounds good. 20 drops, right? Don't make it hard. You're gonna see 50 million different suggestions for dilution. You're gonna see doTERRA's website change for suggested dilution. Everyone used to do 50 to 75% essential oils in their rollers, and that was considered heavily diluted, right? Because when I started in doTERRA, nobody diluted. Everybody slapped the oils on straight five, 10 years ago, all right? And now we're down to, I'll post a recipe with 50 drops of essential oil in a roller. Keep in mind, all oils safe to use undiluted. And people will freak out and come in the know-it-alls and be like, you can't do that, that's not right. That's too many oils. Uh, no, it's fine. Go to, right, and I don't want it to be me. I don't want the answer to be me. Hey, I made this up to make it easy for everybody because there is no right answer, right? If I mean, Immortel is 100% oils. Past Tense is 100% oils. Clary Calm is 100% oils, right? And you use them every day and you don't think about it. But suddenly you hear someone who you think is more important than you say, oh, you should only be using 10% dilution, and now you're going cray cray, ridiculing everybody about how they dilute. Relax, right? It's not that hard. 50% essential oils are less, right? 50% essential oils are less. You can do 33%. I don't care what you do, get the oils on the people and help your team feel confident about it. 20 or 2020 or 2020 20 has worked very well for our team because I don't have to teach it. You don't have to be an expert to use essential oils. You just have to be smart enough not to stick them in your eye and to dilute oregano and cinnamon and cassia. All right, keep it simple. Do not make people feel bad for using lots of oil. Do not make people feel bad for using very heavily diluted oils. This is a process of personal preference. Do not make your builders feel bad for not building the way you do. Ever. They may be successful doing it a different way. One of my best friends, I think she's taught maybe one or two in-person classes ever, and she's diamond. How do you think that would go over early on if someone had told her, you're doing it wrong, right? Be supportive and lift people up. Don't pressure your downlines to do things your way, right? Help people find their way. Maybe they're better with one-on-ones and don't want to teach classes. I have those builders. Guess what? They're still silver and gold. They can still do doTERRA. Is it going to take a little longer because they're doing one at a time? Sure. But if it works for them, lift them up, right? When they have a problem and something's not working for them, help them problem solve. Right? But don't tell people they're doing it wrong. If they want a random sample and give stuff away and not get enrollments and, and let them experience that to learn. They're like, how do you know so much about doTERRA? Because I did everything wrong first. Go fail fast. Assess the situation. Learn from it. And do it again. They were like, how do you get so many enrollments? How do you get 100% enrollment in classes? Because I didn't first, right? I had a class with like 20 people in my house. It was very early on. And I stood up at the end. I talked way too much. I rambled on with way too many stories. I fried their brain with what the top 10 oils do. And then I stood up and said, okay, you can get these retail, which is 25% more. You can get them wholesale. Or you can come into the dining room and see all the rollers that I made. No one knew what to do and everyone was paralyzed. No one enrolled, sold a few rollers. Totally wrong. Don't ever do that, right? 
continued to recreate our process over and over and over, over two and a half years, three years, we still tweak it today, right? Now at Make and Takes, I offer two rollers, all of my 100% enrollment videos. Now we're getting 100% enrollment classes, all of my videos, right? Let people fail first and learn from it. It's way easier, right, to do it, do it wrong and learn, than to watch my videos for months and months and months and never teach a class and ask a billion questions. I promise your questions will get answered the first time you teach a class. And every single part of it that you mess up, you're gonna know and you're gonna write it down and you're not gonna do it again. And you're gonna remember because it happened to you. Angie said she learned the hard way. She did it wrong. She used to give samples with recipes. Face palm, right? We don't do that. We don't give away everything, right? And give them all the tools to go buy it elsewhere. We don't do that, right? We run a good business now. We give people a trifold. We 60 second enrollment them, ask them what their needs are, give them the solutions in the form of a kit because it's the best deal for them ask them which one they're most comfortable with and help them enroll, right? We go to sampling and invitation to classes when that doesn't work, right? Failure is not the opposite of success. I love that, Nicolan. It's part of it. Hopefully I said your name right. Failure is not the opposite of success. It's part of it, right? So we just want to teach you how to be successful your way. Maybe it's classes, classes, classes. Maybe, right, I have a friend who's got like nine kids and classes, classes, classes was not working for her. She targeted professionals, right? That's why we have the, well, she's not the reason we have the trifolds for professionals, but for those of you that want to target professionals, fitness professionals, dental professionals, medical professionals, right? Realtors. I created it for realtors because people have a hard time approaching realtors, right? Find people that are already in business to grow your business exponentially because you don't have to teach them business. You just have to teach them doTERRA, right? She targeted professionals because that was faster for her. Business professionals already had a sphere of influence and customers. That's why we have the Zimmer trifolds for professionals. You approach the dental professional, and then the dentist puts out in their business the intro trifold, the regular trifold, and starts enrolling all their customers. They already have a customer base for you. It's a lot easier to enroll a dentist and get them to enroll all their patients than it is for you to teach classes and try to enroll all those people, right? There's so many ways to build this business. You are not a failure. You need to learn as you go, right? Judy says, thank you. I've been thinking of all the ways I've done it wrong and feeling guilty about being a failure. Absolutely not. That's how we learn. Now I will change my brain and use it as a past learning curve. You got it, Judy. Time to relaunch my business with all this past learning. Learn by doing. Go teach that class. Go screw it up as much as your little heart desires and work out those kinks. And then later you'll be like, oh, that's why I'm supposed to do it the way Lisa said. Yep. But guess what? Maybe you're going to think of something new too. And you're going to come back and say, hey, this is what I did at my last class that went well. I'm going to keep doing it for a while and see how it goes. And now you're going to help us all learn better. Collaboration. That's why this group was put here. Collaboration. I'm not an all-knowing one, right? I'm the first one to admit mistakes. I'm the queen of structuring mistakes, which is why I now teach structuring. Right? I was the queen of making this business too hard and focusing on perfect and paralyzed my business. If there's anything you could do wrong in doTERRA, I did it. 
I sold rollers. Don't do that. That's why we do make and takes, right? Totally different process. Sounds the same? It's completely not. I got a scanner and thought I was the coolest person ever for getting a scanner. I love my scanner. Don't take this out of context. But don't use a scanner to build your business. You will destroy your ability to duplicate. Perfect example. A new sharer on my team. She's been with us five years. Decided to share with a friend because she was with us from five years ago she felt the need to bring her to my house to do a scan first because that was her memory of how we used to do it I created an entire team that didn't have the product confidence the self-confidence to say we don't need a scan. We just help you get started with a starter kit and we go from there or we problem solve, right? We go find a make and take for that person's problem. If it's feelings of anxiousness, go to uh, balance your emotions, make and take, right? That's why you build your Zimmer binder of tools. So when someone says, how do I get started? You don't need a scanner or you're going to create a team dependent on you for every enrollment. That's why I enrolled 400 people. A lot of those were, most of them were personal enrollments, right? But also there were some where it was builders bringing every single person to my house because when I enrolled someone with the scanner, that was their interpretation of how you built the doTERRA business was you take them to Lisa's house for a scan. No. So we had duplication paralysis because we used a scanner to enroll people. Do not use a scanner to enroll people. I love my scanner, we use it for personal use. I love my iTovi scanner, we use them at workshops, right, for members to help them validate what they bought, help them see what else they need, help them discover what else they might use. I'm not going to dispute the validity or the science in a scanner. We use it, we love it. Once again, I don't need science to tell me that the iTovi works for me. I don't need science to tell me that Spike Nard and Console, which I never would have thought of had it not been for iTovi, were amazing for hormone balancing, even though Spikenard smells like poo, right? But I figured out a way how to mix with other stuff and make it smell good. It's called the hormone garbage can roller, right? Or everything but the kitchen sink, I think I call it now, right? So use your scanner if you love a scanner, but do not use a scanner to enroll everyone build your business because everything that you do and say to enroll people is their teaching time to learn how to do what you do so if you do a two-hour one-on-one and a two-hour membership overview there's a good chance that person's never gonna share and build right unless they're special because they don't have time to do what you do. That's the interpretation. That's the other mistake I made, all right? Everybody thinks, oh, I gotta serve. I gotta spend all this time with them. Oh, I gotta, 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 gotta. The more you do like that, the more, <laughs> they're called spike nerds, stink nerd, right? Um, Lynn asked, did you look at other scanners before you chose iTovi? I used to use Zyto and I switched to iTovi. iTovi's way more convenient. So, right? I used to lug a laptop and a hand cradle and all this junk to every single class. Nightmare. It was like I was moving in to teach a class. You know what I need now to teach a class? Even a make and take? I need one little 31 bag and my Zimmer binder with all my handouts in it. That's it. Literally, when I taught a class for the first two years, it looked like I was moving in with them. So Tara used to have a DVD. We would play the DVD. We live in an area where one of our religious, one of our religions in our area, they don't have TVs or DVDs. I would bring 
a small TV and a DVD or a laptop to put it in. Seriously, not joking. I had to go to people's houses and bring a DVD player. Can you imagine watching me load all that into the house, my hostess, and have them going, yeah, I'm doing what she's doing. When LuLaRoe took off, my friend brought all of her stuff over for a LuLaRoe party, and I was like, you're joking. You do this for every single party? I would never do this in a million years. This was back when I was still carrying bags and bags of stuff in for my doTERRA. Now, trifolds, 60-second enrollment, my mouth, reading the trifold, a couple laminated make and takes, my oils case, coconut oil, and some rollers. And that's for the make and take class, right? I can teach classes with just the trifold and a couple oils. Everybody can duplicate that. Everybody can do that. Teach your team, right? Teach your team. We have a beautiful business model. Angie says um, she didn't want to do a business where she needed inventory. So that's why she chose doTERRA. Yes, we don't need inventory, right? We don't need any inventory. It's amazing. Okay. I'm trying to read the questions as I go, right? So now... 99% of the shares and builders on my team, they don't have scanners. They don't need a scanner. They need to tell people these oils work. Here's how we get them. I have the solution. I have the solutions to your problem. Here's how we get them. Trifold 60 second enrollment. You can screen shoot the trifold and send it to people. You can text it. You can PM it. You can do all this long distance. Most of my enrollments are over the telephone. Start to finish, I'm done in three to five minutes. My amount of speaking is 60 seconds or less. Never miss an opportunity to shut up, all right? If your mouth is moving more than the person on the other end of the phone or more than the person sitting across from you, then you are not doing it right. <laughs> Right? Close your mouth and open your ears. The people that are sitting with you want to be heard. They want to be heard. They don't want to sit and listen to you. Right? They want to be heard. And they want to hear from you. Yes, I have the solutions to that. It's this simple. Let's go ahead and get you started. Right? Because remember, everything that comes out of your mouth if they aren't able to turn around and duplicate what you just did and said, then you're making it too hard. If they literally can't turn around and say exactly what you just said without a formal training class, then you're making it too hard. Think about that. Practice. Right? Can a brand new person hand out a trifold and say, oh, the oil lady said pick one of these kits, it's the best deal. Everybody can do that. That's all it takes. Just like you can't literally use the oils wrong except for hot oils and putting them in your eye or downtown Julie Brown where you shouldn't, you can't do it wrong, right? So teach them they can't do it wrong. Talk less. Give them the words. 60 second moment. Okay, you're not shortchanging anyone, right? I don't take a diffuser to classes. Usually a hostess will have one if they don't. No big deal. Everybody knows what diffusers are anymore. So that's part of it too, right? The growth in the essential oils business is making our job easier in some aspects and harder in others. Easier in the sense that I don't need to take a diffuser. Everybody's got diffusers now or knows about them or whatever. It's no big deal. Tell them what it is. I don't need to cart that around and worry about water and simple, simple, simple. Okay. Not going to put up a huge production, right? At the beginning, we had signs and towers and banners and holy moly. No. All they want to know is tell me these work and tell me what I need and get me exposed to them in the class. Right? But you don't even need to do that to enroll people. You know that. 
I did in my WWZD6, which is still open, right? WWZD6. I had everybody answer, how did you enroll to doTERRA? Were you sampled? Did you go to a class? Did you enroll on the phone? Did you uh, enroll online? Very few people were sampled. Do you know how they were enrolled? A friend told them that they worked and that they should do it, and they enrolled. I enrolled with a complete stranger on the telephone. I never seen, smelled, or heard of doTERRA. Actually, I heard the words the night before in a Facebook support group. And someone said digestin and DDR were great for floxies. I called a, my friend went to a class, said I heard some great testimonials. You might call this lady, she might be able to help you. And I enrolled with a complete, complete stranger over the phone in 60 seconds. Right? You, if you were enrolled with extensive sampling and two hour one on one and, and two hour follow ups, and you loved that, there's a good chance that might be the path that you go. If that works for you and people are duplicating that, stick with what's working. If you're doing that and people aren't duplicating you, think about what parts you could change to make simpler so that more people can duplicate you. This is a business of duplication. For those of you that are new here, right? For those of you that are new here, what is duplication? Duplication is watching someone else do this and then them deciding to do it too. Okay, you don't have to be doing the business to share doTERRA with others. You don't have to have 100 PV in your LRP account to share doTERRA with others. You can still share doTERRA with anyone at any time. Whether you choose to get paid commission or not, right? You don't get paid commission if you don't have 100 PV in your LRP cart. And if you don't spend 100 PV monthly, you don't get paid commission. But it doesn't mean you can't share doTERRA anyway. I have people that share doTERRA. They don't keep 100 PV in their cart. They share doTERRA because they love doTERRA and they want people they know to have doTERRA. But maybe their budget doesn't allow. Yes, we've had the conversation. Yes, I've educated them. They make their own choices. It's not my job to control them. Everyone can share doTERRA. Remember that when you're talking to your team. Get in front of people and tell them about doTERRA. Yep, keep it simple. Heather says, my cousin posted a newspaper article that he sold his machine shop to sell essential oils full time. My husband had uh, needed skin support, so I messaged him asking if he had anything that would help, right? That's how so many people enroll. They see a message, they respond to it. If someone's reaching out to you, they already want your product. If, think about that. If someone's reaching out to you, they already want your product. Don't make that hard. That's how I enroll almost everyone, right? I get a text, a PM, or a phone call, and they say, I've heard about these oils. I know they already want it, or they wouldn't have called me. So you should enroll every single one of those people, period because they already want it or they wouldn't be calling you. Who has time to go around and randomly call people, right? They don't, they already want it, they want a solution, they're calling you, they're saying yes, help them pick, done. And continue to educate, right, with LRP. Keep it simple. All right, be sure to go to the units tab in this group and start working your way through units. All right, it's gonna be a great thing to do once a month probably. We're gonna keep building and expanding the units. We have so much amazing content in here and new content all the time. Vendor events, you guys are all getting those mastered, right? You know how to run um, the Zimmer vendor events now. Drawing slips, try me, sample me, get me free. Um, we have our vendor event package to set up your table beautifully. We have a drop box of banners like the one behind me. We've got a whole drop box of all those banners, type banners into the search bar and you can find a whole bunch of different banners that are approved from 
vendor compliance with the logo on them, right? Vendor compliance approved them. You display that. You don't have to have any other logos at your events, right? Check it all out. The vendor package is awesome, Heather says. <laughs> Yay. All right, doing my first vendor event next week. Awesome, Jennifer. Be sure to get the vendor event package from lisazimmer.net forward slash shop, and then go to the search bar in here or the units tab and go through the vendor section, okay? So we have a great vendor event video that shows you how to run people through. And then at your vendor events, right? Because a lot of times at vendor events, people did not come to a vendor event anticipating to purchase a $150 or a $275 kit. They might have been there shopping for a LuLaRoe. Who knows what your vendor event's about, right? So you want to make sure that you have the drawing slips. They're free in the files tab here, and they come uh, free in the vendor package. You want to make sure that you have, oh, I don't have a current example, but we have a document. This is not it. This is an old one. Intro kit enrollment. It's a $10 document on lisazimmer.net forward slash shop. But when people say, yeah, I wasn't going to spend that much. I just wanted to try the oils. Awesome. We can totally help you with and then you repeat back to them the things that they said were their issues, right? When you did the trifold and 60 second enrollment and you read their drawing slip. We can totally help you with that. I have a mini kit on sale right now for in the US market, only $55 and you get all this amazing stuff with it, right? You're gonna point out your goodie bag that's on display that they get with it, right? For free. And build value in that and say we can solve we can use these for all these things that you mentioned. It's only $55. Do you want to go ahead and get the mini kit? Be more comfortable with that. Boom, done. Right? People are getting 10, 20 enrollments at vendor events where they used to get zero or maybe one. Right? So follow the process in there. All right. Okay. What else you got? Give me some questions. This is good. This is just a good recap day. Make sure you get in WWZD6. I'm excited to report um, a large number of people have had 50 to 100% of their OV from October. They've already um, done 50 to 100% of that OV this month that are in WWZD6 by following our process on the Zimmer things. So I'm super, super excited about that. In WWZD6, you're also going to get the free Aroma Touch Technique Trifold. We're going to launch that after the 7th, right? Aroma Touch Technique, not Aroma Touch Enrollment Kit, Aroma Touch Technique. Teach people about Aroma Touch Technique as well as Symphony of Cells. There's benefits to it, right? It's great for massage therapists. Start looking for massage therapists and spa professionals, right? You can do the spa professionals trifold to approach spas and massage therapists. You'll now be able to use this free Aroma Touch technique trifold that you get in WWZD6 to approach them as well and to use in your classes to promote the Aroma Touch technique and the benefits of it, right? Teach your team to do the Aroma Touch technique once a week on family members, right? Everybody do it, take a turn. What else? What else do you want to know about today? Give me some of your issues and we'll help you overcome them. Heather says, I've had people buy retail from me first and then end up enrolling with a larger kit later. You just keep following up with them, right? That's another form of sampling. So one of the things I want to encourage people to do, right? At one of those first classes, I offered retail, wholesale, and rollers. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Not just the rollers wrong. I don't offer retail, right? You're, Heather probably had someone that saw a catalog and asked for retail, right? And so, but other than that, you don't use catalogs in your classes. You don't use anything in your classes that would trigger the question, retail versus wholesale. Why even tell someone about retail? It's a terrible idea, right? Heather problem solved because someone probably saw it somewhere, right? Retail versus wholesale. Maybe they wanted one oil, didn't understand the value, right? All right. Karen says, it was my understanding that we have to be specially trained for Aroma Touch technique after we've ranked to a certain level. Is that correct? No, that is not correct. 
anyone can do aroma touch technique. It's putting eight oils on the back and bottoms of feet. It's not a big deal. And you don't have to rank to any certain level. So no, neither of those statements are true. Um, I can do aroma touch technique for free on anyone that I want, right? You cannot charge for aroma touch technique unless you are a licensed professional, meaning a massage therapist, et cetera, right? Every state and country is gonna be a little different in that department. But I can do aroma touch technique on my husband and son anytime I feel like it. I can do it on my mom, I can do it on my dad, I can do it on my friend, right? I'm just getting their permission to put oils on them. Cannot charge people for it, right? Unless you're a licensed massage therapist. Right. So I went to aroma touch certification and did not finish my certification because one of the things that you had to do was like do it on five people or something and submit it. And I can tell you other than my husband and my son and my mom and my dad, I'm not touching people's feet. Sorry, folks. Right. So everybody's got their boundaries and that's not mine, but that's one of mine. I ain't touching other people everywhere and touching the bottoms of their feet. But no, anyone um, can um, put oils on people. And to learn how to do it, Kieran, you just look for Aroma Touch certification classes in your area. They're being taught all the time. You don't have to be a special rank. You have to be a special rank to teach them, to be certified to teach them, right? Anita says, how do you structure your day? I do the monthly planner that is free in the WWZD courses. What needs to be done every day, every week? And that's where, Anita, you'll use your monthly planner in um, WWZD6. Planning to work 15 to 20 hours a week. That's fantastic. And then also those mentor calls that people are talking about, get signed up for those uh, daily mentor calls if you need more guidance. All right, I think that's all I got right now. Hey, Michelle. Yes, I have a free builder planner in the files tab of my WWZD groups. Please join um, WWZD. Karen says, get into WWZD <laughs> 6. They teach us all that. Yay. All right. So, ooh, um, Trudy, yay Trudy, just posted a video on the aroma touch technique. I'm going to save that and I'll repost that to the top. Yay, collaboration. All right, work with your team. Listen to your team. Um, encourage them to go do. They're going to learn by doing more than they are by sit, sitting and listening to you over and over and over, right? It's like uh, my upline in LRP. I had a mental block against LRP, so I was selling my members oils out of my stock. At a mental block because that's how sales always worked to, for me in the past. You sold inventory. So I was confused, didn't understand it. About four months in, finally, either she said it a different way or I heard it from someone else and it finally clicked. All right. The best way for your team to learn how to do what you're doing is make sure that what you're doing is duplicatable. Don't be super complicated. Right? All they need to do is say, hey, we use these oils. They're amazing. They work. Here's the trifold. All you got to do is pick a kit, and I can help you get started. Super easy. When we put you into our Facebook group where there's tons of people that help, it's awesome. You're going to love it. That's how hard it is to explain the doTERRA business or how to enroll people. Right? Keep it that simple. Okay. Um, Teresa says she has a planner sheet in her WWZD group, so you should totally join. Yay. All right, so I give tons of free tools away in my WWZD groups. We have number five and number six still up there. For those of you that are taking my courses and wondering how to get in access to all the old ones, uh, one through four, right, you can get our WWZD courses, the one through four, uh, four for $39 each, and you can PayPal me for one through four, $39 each. You can PayPal me, lisazimmer2 at gmail.com. 
and then specify in the comments and email me. I have a lot of sales go through PayPal folks, so please email me and say, hey, I just bought a WWCD uh, one and two, here's um, $78, right? And then I'll send you access to one and two or whatever you're missing. Right, there's so many free tools. There's hundreds of dollars in free tools and graphics in every WWZD, regardless of the training content. Right, so um, be sure to get caught up on the WWZDs. So, for example, this last month or last training, or this one, I'm not sure which, right, we um, hadn't taught about BOGOs, right, but someone in these trainings remembered that we taught about BOGOs in WWZD 1, 2, and 3 or 4, I think. And so they went back to those WWZDs because in their market in Europe this month or last month, they had BOGOs. So they were able to access all the BOGO trainings, follow the process from WWZD's past, and they killed it on BOGOs in Europe. Right, so you get access to these groups forever. Right, Kira wants me to answer a question. I don't see the original question to answer it. Lynn says, When you do classes, are they always the same? Yep, when I do classes, follow the class checklist in the files tab. I Follow that process, I read from the trifold. I don't go through the oils down the middle if it's a make and take. I then talk about the oils as we're making and taking and I have um, sheets out about the oils as we're making and taking. You can do pips, you can do information about oils that you have, you can do all kinds of stuff. I have printables that you get for free in WWZD5 on the top 13 oils um, that you can print, laminate, and put out for your classes. For the holidays, happy holidays, I have um, printables for each oil in the happy holidays handout that you get free in WWZD6, and you can print those and laminate right, and put those out for classes. But my classes are always the same. The essentials make and take or a topic of the season. Happy holidays, immunity, respiratory. Pick a topic. If you have a hostess, let them pick a topic. They're going to have a more successful class if it's a topic that they're interested in and their sphere of influence is interested in. But your class should always run the same. So you have a make and take and it's all members that show up and they've already been to two before. Do you do it the same? Yes. How did you learn the alphabet? By singing the alphabet song over and over and over and over. Memorization. People can't duplicate you if you keep doing it different. Do it the same. Every single time. Follow the process. People can follow a process. If people say, oh, you don't need a system or a process. They're lying because they have a system or a process. Their inability to communicate it to you is a problem. They have a process. Everybody needs a system or a process. How are you going to be duplicated if you don't have a system or a process, right? Right. So whether it's new people, people on your team, you're going to have classes where you're going to have new people and people on your team. You teach it the same every stinking time, right? Not workshops, monthly workshops, where it's for your team members only and their guests that want to share doTERRA or that want to uh, learn about doTERRA, right? Those have a different format. And I give you in my WWZD courses the workshop sign-in sheet, workshop agenda, and you get to see my workshops live in action and how we run them. It helps you enroll new people. It builds product confidence. It turns your members into sharers and builders. It does a whole bunch of things, right? Christine says, if we pay for four, five, and six, we have, will have access, correct? You will have access to four, five, and six if you paid for four, five, and six. Yep. All right. Yay. Okay. 
So get your WWZD access. Five and six are easy. They're on the website, lisazimmer.net forward slash shop. If you want access to old ones, email me. My email is at the top of this group in the cover photo. Um, if you're doing vendor events, get your vendor event package from my website. Get your intro kit enrollment document for $10 to help you um, build confidence and enroll those people that aren't ready for a $150 kit or a $275 kit. Make sure you use your intro trifold. Yes, those will be updated. Um, they will be updated um, in the next week, right? We're going to find out what the new kits are on the 7th. We do not provide free updates um, per our website, all right? So Tara made five changes in the last year to uh, the processes uh, for the trifolds, how to enroll, price of peppermint, names of oils, different natural solutions kit, blah, 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 blah. Uh, we are not responsible for taking on the financial burden of the changes that doTERRA makes. So we will have new trifolds out. We are going to put them on sale for everyone, right? For 15 bucks, it's going to be worth your time just to get the new one. It's going to have a new design, um, a new color scheme to match and coordinate with doTERRA's uh, Live um, brochure. So we have all of our tools now um, going to be uh, coordinated, right? Our hostess trifold coordinates with doTERRA's sharing trifold. It's the step before, or doTERRA's um, chair guide, right? So the share guide is not really created for new hostesses. The share guide is created for sharers. That's totally different than a hostess, all right? So my hostess trifold is for a hostess. It gives you scripts, right? So as soon as you have someone that wants to host the class, boom, I send them my hostess trifold, and I send them the um, unit on um, your Facebook event and what words to put in it. Boom, done. Check in with them in a couple days, see how it's going, right? Check in with them before the event. Hey, did you get through everything on the hostess trifold? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Don't make it, right? We create these tools so you don't have to use your mouth for everything. It makes you less duplicatable, right? Because you're so busy explaining how an event works and explaining what they're supposed to say when all you got to do is buy a trifold, screen shoot it, send it to them, or email it to them and say, hey, follow the trifold. Tells you how to set up for being a hostess. Boom, done. Right? Hostess trifold. We do have a builder trifold coming out. Um, later this year as well, right? So all these tools coordinate beautifully with doTERRA's tools, depending on which ones you choose to use, right? We don't um, compete with doTERRA tools. We coordinate with them. That's what makes our system so successful. All right, get your hostess trifold, get your intro trifold. Um, get going. Go share doTERRA. Make it so simple that anybody can do it. Make it simple for your members to use it. Make it simple for your builders to do it and encourage them to just do. You can't do doTERRA if you don't start doing. All right, post questions in the comments and we'll get to them as soon as we can. Even better if you, um, post in the questions post at the top of this page or in units, right? So we have um, those we make sure that they get answered uh, every day, every other day. We do our best. This is not a full service group where we guarantee that we answer your questions. If you're looking for full service where we guarantee that we answer your questions, go to WWZD6 and get registered for full service um, daily support. All right. Jennifer says, I think I'm really overwhelmed with all this information at the beginning, but once I get started and think it might be easier, it's just a lot. Ready? Get a trifold. Read it in your class. Tell people to enroll and learn the 60-second enrollment, right? Jennifer, go to the units tab. Don't be overwhelmed. Super, super simple. Get a class checklist from the files tab. Get in WWZD6 if you're not already and watch my make and take video follow the checklist, right? I do checklists for everything so you don't have to remember anything. I still use my checklist in every single class. Don't be afraid to hold up the checklist and say, I want to make sure I don't miss anything for you folks. Let me go through my checklist, right? That's duplicatable. All right, have a good one. Good luck, Jennifer. Happy Wheeling.
Bye.